guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. Before we get into it, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Again, thanks for clicking on this video and I hope you guys will enjoy today's video. Today we are doing something I've been meaning to do for quite a while. Um, so as you guys know, if you've been on my channel before or if you've listened to my podcast, Pixels and Planners, I really like Animal Crossing, and I never thought I would, but here I am. I play it almost every single day, and I'm a little bit obsessed with my villagers, and <laughs> I've been wanting to track their birthdays. I want to make sure that I don't miss their birthdays. I know, I'm a grown woman, and here we are. Anyway, so I printed out some stickers with my Cricut to use to, uh, you know, put in my insert here. So I have a monthly insert. This is for my video game themed B6TN. I've been calling it the VG B6TN, just kind of makes it easier. And I have this insert from Lights Play Interaction. And this again is a monthly B6 size insert for my Traveler's Notebook. And I got this to track game releases initially because I have it in my video game B6TN. I thought that it would be great for tracking game releases so I can make sure I don't miss, you know, when games are coming out or forget about them because time flies and it's easy to forget about things like that. Um, and then any kind of gaming events, you know, like E3 and state of play events and just, you know, live streams and, and Twitch and everything. I just wanted to keep it all in this insert and it's been working super well for me and so I decided uh, I went on the Animal Crossing wiki which I've you know I'm sure you guys have been to if you play Animal Crossing and you can just download pictures of your villagers so I just went in and typed all their names and I downloaded their pictures so I went in Photoshop and I added a white stroke around all of the designs so that my Cricut could cut out the shapes more accurately um, and so I just downloaded them all and I printed all of my villagers and I did some really teeny ones and then some bigger ones. And the small ones are, as you can see, the small ones are for putting on the monthly insert to track their birthdays. And I found their birthdays also on the Animal Crossing wiki. And yeah, there's a whole list where you can just see their birthdays um, by month. And I just control F typed in their name and found their birthdays. And so I just really wanted to, um, you know, put it in here. I thought it would be super cute. I love the tiny little stickers. And as far as the type of paper that I used, I used clear sticker paper. It's actually clear label paper. I got it on Amazon. It was actually recommended to me um, through one of Shauna Klingerman's YouTube videos. I will put a link in the description to her channel. You should definitely check her out. But she did a video on, you know, the her favorite like sticker papers and supplies and things for printing digitals. And she pointed out that with this particular paper, you can write on top of the clear sticker. That's an issue that I've had with several stickers in the past, particularly like if you have a larger sticker or a sticker with a lot of space around the design and you're trying to use it, especially when you're using it in a small space. Um, it can be an issue when you're writing and, you know, maybe you put like punctuation on something and you accidentally write on top of that clear sticker. If it's not the right type of sticker paper, it's not gonna, it's, it's gonna like smear off. It's not gonna work. So this particular paper she recommends because she uses it a lot with art journaling and printing out digitals and, you know, different things to put in her art journal. And I've been doing the same thing. Um, because a lot of times I need to actually write on top of the clear space around the sticker, if that makes sense. So I've really been enjoying this paper. Again, I'll put a link in the description. I'm going to put the link that Shauna had because I believe it was her affiliate link. And I want to give her credit because she's the one who told me about this in the first place. Um, and yeah, so I highly recommend this clear sticker paper. If you're wondering, if you're interested in trying it, yes, it works with the Cricut. Um, I have the Cricut Explore Air 2. I have been, whew, y'all, uh, let me just tell you, I almost didn't have a Cricut Explore Air 2 the other week because I almost threw that thing out the window. I was having some serious issues with um, 
a particular sticker paper I had. I thought that my Cricut was the problem, but it was the sticker paper. So it was a whole thing, but I have not had any issues with this paper and with the Cricut. The only thing I would say, and you can see it there in that shot, is that sometimes with the blade that I have, which is just the default blade that comes on the Cricut, it cuts a little too far through this particular paper. This is the only paper I've had the issue with. And I do select less pressure when I'm cutting this design. Um, so it's only a couple of them where you can see it, it kind of cuts almost too far through the sheet, if that makes sense. But anyways, that is what I'm doing in today's video. So I hope that you will enjoy and are enjoying. And I hope that this will inspire you uh, to maybe track some things for whether it's video game releases, TV shows, you know, episodes of shows, uh, movies, comic releases, uh, music, anything. Um, it's just a really fun way. I, I had a lot of fun. It was very relaxing to sit down and do this. And I'm just so happy when I open it up and look. Because uh, again, like, I really don't want to miss my villagers' birthdays. It's, you know, priorities. But um, yeah, I hope this inspires you to try something like this. It's, you know, it's one thing to have it in your Google Calendar or whatever. But it's really nice to have something printed and to be able to kind of create something. So... If you guys have any questions about the sticker paper, about how I printed the stickers, about, yeah, the, the insert, anything, just let me know in the comments. Um, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I will check in with you guys at the end. guys are coming up on the end of the video here so now I am putting some of the larger stickers of my villagers on this piece of vellum this was a pattern that I printed and I cannot remember for the life of me the shop name I'll put everything in the description um, but it was just the leaf pattern and I bought a digital of it and then I printed it on a piece of vellum that I got uh, at Michaels I believe and so I just wanted to kind of use those larger stickers um, since I already had Animal Crossing stickers on this piece of vellum, I just thought that these would add to it. And I love that they're clear, so it looks really nice on the vellum. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions about my video game theme B60N, I do have a whole video that I did, like a detailed flip through of this Traveler's Notebook. So I will put that in the cards and also in the description. I encourage you to check that out. I also encourage you to check out my other content. I've been really trying to do two uploads a week and I've been pretty proud of myself because I've been doing that. I'm also doing a bi-weekly podcast called Pixels and Planners. The links are in the description. It's available on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's available on platforms I've never even heard of. <laughs> um, and yeah, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I've been posting very regularly on the gram as well, so I'm having a lot of fun interacting with my followers over there. 
So yeah, that's Planning with Cass on Instagram. And also there's a separate Instagram account for Pixels and Planners. And that one is Pixels and Planners Podcast. Again, all this information is in the description box. So be sure to check it out. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing, for watching, for liking, all that stuff. I appreciate you guys. I've been having so much fun creating content for you. And the feedback that you give really just means so much and I would just say to you any youtuber that you watch whether it's a really tiny channel like mine or it's a mid-size or a larger channel just let them know that you appreciate their content even if it's just a quick comment that says you know thank you I love your channel it really goes a long way and I appreciate it and I try to do that for my favorite channels as well so Again, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not. Be sure to check out the description box for all the links that I mentioned. A link to Shauna's channel, a link to the paper that she recommended. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.